over users, Alex C, your guide, and today I'm answering one of my student questions how we can use this coffee preset in order to get this cool looking foam as we can see in this uh, in those pictures here. So we're gonna simulate coffee pouring into the mug and we're gonna try to create those little uh, bubbles here. Again, it's just a preset, so it's super easy to use. Now let's go to my 3ds Max. As you can see here, I'm just using a sphere to create a uh, object that I can put in my my coffee. So basically, I stretch the sphere, sliced it in half, remove the top, put shell modifier on it, and then with the detailable poly and soft edges, I pulled up the back to kind of make this cup okay and I adjust it a little bit but that's for the camera look so let's leave it as as this cup right here and uh, let's measure the size that's very important the size of our mug let's see here so it's about 85 millimeters that's like eight centimeters that's a big mug even though it's standard it's a little bit bigger than usual so if we draw a box here we can see that the height is 8.7 slightly, maybe less, so about 8.5. So that's about the right size of the mug. Okay, that's very important to start with, to have the right height, about eight centimeters. And if we go to my unit scale, that's also very important. Unit setup, we can see I'm in centimeters and my unit system also in centimeters. That's the most important thing here. Now let's go and add uh, that coffee preset. So I'm going to click. I actually need to add a sphere here before we do that because our uh, coffee preset is going to go on that sphere. So I'm going to lift it up like this, right in the middle. And we're going to uh, use that to drop our coffee preset. So let's click on our coffee preset and uh, voila, the simulator was created with a couple uh, adjustments here. So we can see we have water and the water got animation already on it. So it starts from nine, it goes all the way here and then it drops to zero. So I'm actually going to increase that. I want to drop about 20 centimeters of coffee, a little bit more than the default. I mean, you can drop as much as you want. That depends on how much you want to fill up your cup. So, and as you can see here, we have a foam preset already adjusted. We're going to probably have to um, tweak the particle life if we want to if we want those bubbles to leave certain life we can limit it so they will pop at the end and kind of dilute and settle down okay now uh, regarding my uh, simulation here i need to bring it let's bring it to level zero i'm gonna bring this a little down here and now let's adjust this to match our size. So let's go a little higher like that. And let's adjust here the size. So what we want to do is just to have right in the middle here. Okay. Let's do 120, 120. Okay, so everything covering this cup. Now we are simulating a lot of those three million is too much. So I'm gonna go uh, a little up here and let me just lower this down a little bit, something like this. So we will simulate somewhere around 900, actually 800. 
somewhere here. So the water of coffee gonna drip from here, so I don't think we need a full uh, spectrum to cover the entire bowl. So the coffee going to be created here and then just drop to the cup. Okay. Now we set this thing up. Let's click simulate. Let me put it up like this. Let's click simulate. And we can see the coffee is dropping down nicely. And I already can see some nice line here going on inside. Okay, I'm going to uh, stop the simulation here on this uh, frame 24. And uh, let's do a test render. So for test render, we obviously need to bring some lighting and uh, we have Chaos Cosmos to help us with that. So I'm going to, let's get this HDRI. And uh, let me move that to the side here. So we got our HDRI image. Now let's wrap surface, uh, V-Ray plane. And let's get also camera. Very physical camera. Whoops, something happened here. I'm going to actually delete this camera and make it from here. V ray physical camera, I'll just drag it to the object. All right, I'm gonna click C, go my, to my camera, lift it up, zoom a little bit. Okay, now. Let's hit render and see what we get. Okay, so we need to tweak the lighting a little bit. I'm going to go to IPR, select my camera. Uh, let's see. camera right here and what we need to do is let's lower this down to four see how this looks Okay, it looks nice and bright. And we already can see that the foam kind of getting nice shape here. So let me exit my IPR. I'm actually gonna go here and uh, adjust the lighting without this preset. I don't want it to take any time on calculation. So uh, let's, let's do another thing. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and let's get some texture to this uh, wood. Um, something similar to, I guess maybe something like this. I wanna get like dark wood, maybe uh, not so yellow, like orange colorful, something very neutral. I guess something like this. So I'm gonna, Add to the scene and then while I select my plan drop it on it let's go test render okay now we need to fix the grains right here and again we can use uh, IPR in order to help us with this with those grains rotation so I want it to be straight like this. And I also see that the grain is a little big, so we can go here and change the tiling. We can also do it with um, UVW map, but I'm just gonna do it really quick here. Just double the size 
and in reflection too. I'm gonna go inside here and do tiling two and two. And let's see if they have some bump also. And they have bump. So the bump gonna get also tiling with two. Okay. So far so good. I still feel a little dark, so what I'm gonna go and do in my camera, actually reduce the shutter speed to make it nice and bright. I can always dim it down uh, and bring more contrast. It's way easier than uh, removing the contrast. If it's too dark and you don't have information, it's very hard to bring it, okay? So now let's go to our frame 24. And unhide. Let's go unhide all. Okay. So at this point, I think we can do a test render just to see how the stuff works. So again, I'm going to disconnect, disconnect my IPR. And in my render, uh, I didn't show you this but i'm using lower settings 1 24 i'm using buckets to render so by default this one to 24 so i lower it down to 4 and i also change to irradiance map here very low with 20 and 20. that's the only thing i did basically just to have my renders to go a little bit faster all right now in light cache it's thousand um so everything by default my rendering resolution is full HD here, 1080p, uh, nothing to it. So let's click render. You can see the foam getting calculated. And this foam is taking some time to render. But we can see from the preview already that we're getting nice foam around this area let's actually get some detail i'm going to cancel and uh, zoom in a little more just so we can see this foam detail here and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add some texture to the um, to this material library. We're gonna get let's get this ceramic add to the scene, and then I'm gonna add it to the bowl and to my mug. All right, now let's hit render. See how this stuff works. All right, let's stop this. So just by looking at this, uh, my bubbles looking a little bit too small. So uh, you can kind of eyeball it, I guess. There is, uh, I'm not sure if there is any other way to get the size precisely. But what I'm gonna do, I actually gonna go up a little bit. I mean, with the scale size here and uh, let's re-simulate this. So with the bigger cell size, I already can see that the simulation is going a little bit faster. Obviously small detail takes a little bit longer to produce. Okay, so I'm gonna get another angle here. And uh, let's stop this guy and do another test render to see how our bubbles are getting together. So I really like the color of the coffee and everything and how the bubbles gathering around this area. So it looks kind of promising already from the previous. But again, the trick here is to get the right uh, the right size in order to you know look believable and not to blow it up with 
total cells otherwise this whole thing gonna take you forever to uh, simulate and render so you want to stay in a small enough amount and in enough big bigger size of uh, you know your bubbles and everything to make it look like real coffee all right so I'm gonna stop this and I already see that the size is looking a little bit better now I want to render this whole full image but I don't want to get as close as that to the detail so I'm going to zoom out a little bit since uh, in the references you know we have like coffee is uh, kind of far away not really extreme close-up so we do have some sort of a distance that I'm trying to get so something like this and let me just get my FDD so we can see a little bit more into the cup and what I'm gonna do here let's add a few items similar to let's do coffee apple macbook so let's do some like scenario where we have kind of macbook coffee pen you know phone maybe so we have a lot of those cool objects in the cosmos so um, let me get my cosmos here and let's I don't have iPhone I was searching for that yesterday so let's see what we got in accessories here uh, do we have can see we have apples so if we click on red we have an apple here so let's import that apple here we go and let's get some computer notebook okay we got notebook also imported here okay so let's rotate it and like that and move this tire shot here move this apple somewhere to the side and um, let's get a pen put a pen here that'd be nice so um, let's see we have pen uh, what else we have we have pencil Okay, we have this cool pencil from metal will reflect nicely so let's get this pen here like that I actually want to rotate it a little to the side uh, local to object gotta bring them up MacBook on top and this guy right here and let me fix the rotation something like that okay now let's get to our camera here just double check with the IPR that everything's fine real quick all right so this stuff is looking good and um, 
the IPR is doing quite a good job and you know giving us a representation of what it's gonna be okay so I'm going to hit render and let's see what we get all right so the render was done it's looking pretty good so I'm gonna take it to Photoshop add a little bit uh, color correction curves contrast in order to pop out those cool details and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial let me know what you think about this preset if you have any questions post them below and we have way more stuff in our VFX for ArcVis training so thanks a lot for watching this is Alex your V-Ray guy talk soon ciao